Hey everyone, it's Andrew Esquivel here, and I've got a kind of just, I guess we call it a vlog of some sort, I don't know. But it's an update to my 30 gallon breeder tank, which is uh, kind of an unusual size. It's actually a terrarium, but it works really well as an aquarium. It's one of my seven fish tanks, so uh, at least the seven down here. I got two more upstairs. Anywho, uh, I got some free stuff from a friend of mine who was moving and was not able to take his stuff with him. That's how I got my newest tank. Uh, I think I'm going to put full red albino eye show guppies in here and breed them in that tank for a short time until I convert this to a full 40 gallon. But until then, I have a very big update with Little Squish. Now, you guys have seen Toby the Gobi, you've seen Mrs. Cray Cray, all my other wild fish buddies that I have collected and cannot legally release back into the wild, so I decided to just keep them. So, what's the big thing? Little Squish was a tadpole, but he is becoming a frog. Look at him. Isn't he glorious? Actually, I don't know if it's a he or a she, but I call him Little Squish because he is very squishy. Now, amphibians are ridiculously just hardy. I mean, they can go through so much, and to be honest, we were crayfishing oh, like a few months ago, and uh, the crayfish have long since been eaten. But uh, this little guy, my friend just happened to cash and decided, eh, we'll throw it in my tank. Oh, my friend didn't ask my permission or anything, he just did it, and I'm like, well, I guess I'm stuck with a tadpole now. And I didn't really think much of it until now. I mean, I've been feeding the little guy. He's been growing. He went from a tadpole to a frog, so something good must have been going on for him. And now, he's becoming more frog than tadpole. Which leaves me with a conundrum. I don't have anything set up for amphibians. But, I'm going to have to think of something. Now, my friend who was moving away... Uh, gave me a bunch of decorations and whatnot, so at least the fish have some foliage to hide around and whatnot, the air bubblers hidden behind. I got an, a water circulator, which is also kind of neat. It's fun to watch the fish play around in the circulated water. I think they actually enjoy it. It simulates their natural environment a little bit better. And uh, take my hand, which is clean, doesn't have any antibacterial soap or anything goopy like that on it. Uh, if you're ever putting your hands in your aquarium, don't use any sort of harsh soap. Just use regular bar soap if you have to, and rinse very thoroughly because I'm about to play with Little Squish, and Little Squish is still a little... He's still a little getting used to me. So, as you can see, he's swimming along. He's being goofy. Are you a goofball, little squish? Yeah, look at you in your derpy face. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what to do with him. He's just being a derp. He goes about his business. He don't mind nothing. He don't, he don't make no problems. You know, the fish don't mind him. He's just chilling out, doing as he does. But it's, it's kind of fun. The whole little squish. So long as he doesn't keep jumping out of my hands here. Now, little squish, as I said before, is very squishy, and I'm not I'm not trying to hold him hard. And believe it or not, you could squeeze these guys with as much force as you could possibly want, and you won't hurt them. Uh, they are, like I said before, extremely resilient. Old-fashioned methods of, you know, um ending a frog's life for consumption for things like frog legs and whatnot. Very, very long ago they used to have very primitive methods which were extremely brutal where they would have to whack the frog against the side of a concrete building over and over again just to kill it. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to do that to Little Squish. He's not food. He's, he's going to remain as a pet. I got a friend who does deal with amphibians and reptiles and he's going to take him in for me because Little Squish is a bullfrog, which means he's an invasive species. 
unfortunately that's all I've got in this tank. Every single fish that I've caught in this tank has ended up being some sort of invasive species by accident that I didn't fully understand when I brought them out of the water. And uh, I'm stuck with them because the only other legal thing to do with them would be to terminate their life. And I don't really want to do that to these little guys because they're actually entertaining. But Little Squish is a bullfrog and I can't release them back into the wild. That would be illegal. I follow all the laws uh, that the DNR has set forth. The only reason I can even legally stock things like round gobies in here is because I've gotten permission from my uh, local um, conservation officers that work in my region for the Department of Natural Resources and I talked with them and they gave me permission so long as I never release these creatures back into a body of water it's okay that I keep them I can keep them for personal consumption or as a pet uh, it's you know it's not breaking any laws I got the permission to do so but little squish is he's he's uh, he's gonna be a problem for me soon and <laughs> Oh man, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Soon I'm gonna wa I'm gonna wake up to a croaking noise in the basement, and I'm gonna have to get them, put them back in the water or something. Because this is the only tank that has no lid. So every other tank has a lid, not this one. Ugh. I really could use one. But anywho, uh, I just thought it'd be fun to show you guys. And I know my camera keeps going out of focus here. I thought it'd be fun to show you guys a little squish and his squishy dealings of things all squish. So, uh, he's, he hides behind stuff and he pops up for air once in a while. He's starting to develop lungs instead of just straight up gills. So that's why it's important for him to have ornaments to climb up to the top and get a breather. Uh, you know, I'm trying to do my best for the little guy. I mean, I have uh, predator pellets inside of here which are designed for predatory fish, which all these fish do really well with them, especially the gobies. Gobies are really predatorial. They're actually uh, the worst ecosystem destroyers in this tank. Actually, the gobies have a kill on sight law. Uh, if I, I, when I first found the gobies, I didn't know what kind of fish they were, so I brought them home and did some research, and it turns out, yep, they're the infamous round goby. That's not Toby the goby. Toby the goby is somewhere else, probably in his little castle that he has now claimed. But um, yeah, so the gobies love predatory pellets, because gobies can basically wipe out entire populations of bass and catfish, uh, and you would think, how would a little fish like that do something like that? Nope. Hey man, eat your food, don't just chew it and spit it out, man. This, this stuff costs me money. Anywho, uh, <laughs> gobies breed super fast, and they work in teams to lure away, uh, parent fish from their eggs, and when they're chasing some gobies, the other gobies come in and eat the eggs when the parent fish is not guarding them, chasing other fish. And that's how they destroy ecosystems, because there's predators that will eat gobies, but the gobies outcompete the predator's reproductive capabilities, and that's why they're super invasive and have a kill on sight law. So, that's how I ended up with gobies. I was trying to catch crayfish in my crayfish trap using bacon. Didn't catch any crayfish, but caught gobies. Go figure. Anywho, I don't even know what the point of this video is. I thought I would just ramble for a minute here. So, uh, hey, at least the wild tank is a little bit more wild. It's got foliage. And no, they're not real plants, but, you know, it, it's, it's something. So, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm calling him a little squish. He's going to become a big squish, because he's a bullfrog. I've seen how big bullfrogs get. So I'm thinking about trying to give him a new name. I was thinking maybe somewhere along the lines of Jeremiah, because as the song goes, Jeremiah was a bullfrog, was a very good friend of mine, never understood a single word he said, yada, 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 yada. Or I could go with the Internet's favorite route and call him Dat Boy. Here come that boy. So, yeah. I don't know if you guys like these random rants, but yeah, I just did one. So, I'm going to end it at 10 minutes, try and hit the 10 minute mark exactly, and boom.